G'day everyone, Viv here from Battle Bunker. It's time to continue on with the desert theme table. So, um, I showed you this one uh, yesterday, and I quickly whipped up a second one uh, a little bit uh, earlier this afternoon. So, I'm going to texture both of them up with a plaster mix, just to provide a little bit of uh, sort of undulation to the surface, just so it's not the flat uh, foam. And I don't really want to sand the table, so I'd rather they had a more natural sort of appearance. So, I'm going to use a plaster mix. Uh, once we've done that, it's just a matter of painting the tables and uh, adding a little bit of detail. So hopefully they'll be finished by the end of tomorrow. Um, we'll have the two new desert tables and three new dystopian wars tables, which I'll be showing to you real soon. So the next step, as I mentioned, is to apply the plaster mix to the table. So I've just mixed up a plaster preparation here um, using uh, my standard method of uh, caulking, glue and uh, plaster with a little bit of sword, sawdust in it. And I'm quite literally just going to use my hands. I've got some latex gloves on and I'm just going to put a little bit onto the top of the uh, the uh, heels and just spread it around with my hands. This is going to help avoid brush strokes uh, instead of uh, using a brush. So you can do this with your hands. I, I strongly recommend getting some uh, latex gloves from the supermarket or your chemist. They're very, very cheap. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, plaster the whole top surface of all the foam um, and put a little bit of plaster uh, on the ground underneath. And once all that's dry, all we need to do then is uh, come back and uh, start painting. The only reason I'm putting the plaster mix on top of the foam basically is just to give a little undulation to the surface. So we just want to keep on applying it. It doesn't need to be a completely flat coat. And again, I'm just using my hands to uh, avoid brush strokes. One of the other reasons why I use the plaster mix is uh, if I'm putting two pieces of foam together, you'll notice that just through here you can see a seam line where the two pieces of foam have been joined together. So I use a little bit of plaster to cover up those seam lines. When you're texturing the surface like this using like a, a stippling motion with your hands, you don't want the plaster to be too undulated, otherwise figures will start falling over. So you want to have a little bit of surface for dry brushing, but not too much where your figures are going to start falling over. <coughs> So there we go, nice and quick and simple. I mixed up just enough to do the heels, which was perfect. I want to mix just a little bit more and then uh, do the inside of the, uh, the, the, the base of the table, uh, just so it matches a little bit, because this already has sand on it, just so it matches the, uh, the heels a little bit. I'll do that on both of the tables, and uh, then we'll come back and uh, undercoat the whole table brown and start dry brushing it up in shades of yellows and oranges. It's gonna be sort of like a desert thing. So uh, stay tuned and we'll keep on building. <laughs> 